Okay guys, when we're actually doing this formatting thing, copying and pasting from and to Word, there's really three ways of doing it. Now, admittedly I have Word 2007. It won't matter, this classic UI actually shows you exactly what you'll see within Word 2003 and Word XP. Now, the first way is quite simple. You highlight the entire row, you drop it back so you don't have the return symbol at the end. It's simply a copy, edit copy, or control C, alt tab across the new document, select the line again without selecting the return character, and control V. Now you can also within the document, if you want to pick up, say something from the unit code here, if we don't have the return code selected when you do the copy, you can actually copy into another thing and it'll pick up the line style just as long as you don't actually go through with the return character at the end. Now the second method of copying and pasting between these two documents is we select the entire bit that we want to copy across edit copy just exactly the same as you did before which is control C we'll tab into the other document now if we want to pick up the style that's already there what we can do is we can actually do a paste special we go edit paste special we choose unformatted text and basically it pastes the text from the previous document through and across without any style information attached. Now this can be really really useful but if you're pasting tables it can be somewhat catastrophic. If I just demonstrate what happens there uh, we'll go down and find a table in the original document which we know there's one sitting in the self-test and almost there. Now if we copy this across and we paste special with unformatted text you kill the table information as well which isn't useful so when ca pasting tables we'll actually use the third way of copying and we'll get down into the actual document itself now okay so we, what we'll do here is we're going to grab an entire section warts and all that that is all the bits and pieces in there that are incorrectly formatted you're not 100% sure what's right so what we can do is we can just grab a whole section just a straight copy and paste control C control V now what we're going to do is we're going to hit the format tab jump down to the styles and you'll notice now on the left hand side now yours it may be up on the right hand side it'll depend what we have is we have a list of all the styles but the other thing that comes up is all the styles that aren't exactly quite right like this 14 point bold what we can do is we can select all the instances of that and do something like just click the body text and replace it with the new style which makes life an awful lot easier for those that are doing that and you can identify where you've got uh, say incorrect bullets that don't quite fit or you've got bulleted text here and we can just replace those with the right bullets as such. Now with these we can select all four instances, replace them with the right bullets and then just indent to pick up that nice circular bullet as, as opposed to the other one. We select those and all fixed. And it can be as easy as that copying and pasting. In fact that's probably the quickest method. Now the other thing to note is you don't have to worry too much about putting return characters in between paragraphs. If you pick up the body text style so we have the normal see how we've got normal actually up that top if we hit body text the space in between the paragraphs is automatically already there and the other half of this of course is we don't have to worry about those extra returns either um, that's pretty much what we had to show so I'll end it at that